hello guys welcome back so in this video you will learn how to connect a flutter application to firebase for the android so open up your favorite browser and make sure that you are logged into your gmail account and then simply google for firebase console this one which is firebase just click on that here you will see this go to console button so click on it now this is the actual page. You can of course come here directly by simply typing this console.firebase.google.com Click on create a project and we will simply give it name as TikTok Clone App. I accept, accept and then continue then click on continue accept and yeah then click on create project so it is going to create firebase project for us now then click on continue and here we go this is our project now if you close this how you can go there okay you can just type console.firebase.google.com okay and it will redirect you to this page and here is our firebase project which is created successfully by the name tiktok clone app you can click on it and now basically we have to connect it for the android and for the ios as well so of course in this video we will connect it for the android and then in the next video we will connect it for the ios okay so yeah for now click on android and then here we have to provide our package name so come back to your flutter project inside the android module we have app inside the app we have build.gradle now in here if you see we have this application id which is this okay from here i can simply say tiktok clone and remove the underscore from it now of course whatever application id you want you can just give it here okay it is totally up to you but once you create once you uh, copy this okay first of all let's copy this once you copy it from here and then connect it with your firebase then you do not need i mean you must not need you must not change this from here again okay as we have copied it so first thing that is what what application id you want to give to it okay so for example let's say my mine is com.mohammadali.tiktoklon let's say you can give it like video sharing that is instead of tiktok loan you can write video sharing or so on it is totally up to you whatever you like but once you do that please do not change it after it okay so just copy whatever your application id is just copy it and come back to the project to the website okay here you have to paste it and then here if you want you can give it a nickname so I will just say Android app okay and then of course click on register app so our flutter project our this flutter project is now connected to the that is it is connected now with the firebase okay for the for the android okay for the android this flutter project is connected with firebase for the android of course some steps are remaining which we have to complete so now the next thing is we have to download this uh, google services.json file just click on it and it will be downloaded now as you can see and if i go to the downloads folder then here you can see this is the file which we just downloaded then the next thing is what we can do is we can go to the flutter project and inside the android app we have to place that google services.json file inside this app so i will simply copy this google services.json file okay copy this and then right click on app and then click paste and click ok so now inside the app folder we have our google services.json file now come back to the browser and then click next and now what we need to do is we need to copy this class path okay just copy this and we have to add this to the project level build.gradle now if you come back let's close this okay and in here inside the android this is our project so project level build.gradle is this one 
okay and we have to pass that inside here inside these dependencies just pass that here here you can pass it or of course above this okay like this then come back to the browser and then the next thing is to the app level build dot gradle we have to add this one so just copy it okay app level build dot gradle so app level build dot gradle is basically this one inside the android we have app this is app level and then inside app we have build dot gradle so we have to add that in here below this com android application just paste that okay like this and then of course instead of id we can copy this replace this id with apply plugin colon okay in front of it we have com google gms google services then come back to the browser and yeah that's it click next and click on continue to console so now as i told you our flutter project our flutter project for the android our flutter project for the android it is now connected successfully with the firebase as you can see okay now we can simply use the firebase services like for example the authentication click on authentication okay and inside the authentication just click on get started let's enable this and of course now we will test if it is connected successfully or not now inside the sign in method click on email password and make sure to enable that that is we will use the email password sign in feature and then similarly we can use the uh, firestore okay the firestore database so in here you can simply click on this create database so we can start in production mode click next and then enable so it will enable cloud store firestore that is the firestore database for us so it has been enabled and opened successfully now uh, we have to click on rules in order to allow the read write features and just you need to change this false to true that is instead of false you can write true okay like this and then click publish so this is our file store next thing that we will need is the storage where we can upload our images file videos files and so on you know so in storage click on get started and then we can start in production mode click next and click done so now the storage is also enabled now in order to use these things in our uh, firebase uh, in our flutter project we have to add the dependencies for it for example the first dependency is whenever you need to access Fire firebase in our flutter project okay whenever we need it we have to add the first dependency which is basically the firebase core okay so just click on that click installing and then copy this dependency okay and come back to your project inside the prospect.html you have to just add, add it just like i add that here as you can see okay and then of course the next thing is the uh, authentication so for the authentication we have to search another one which is firebase underscore auth this one okay click on firebase auth click installing just copy this dependency and come back to the project and simply add that here so this is for using the firebase authentication next one is the firestore so for the firestore we have to search cloud firestore that is this one okay cloud firestore click installing and just copy this dependency come back to the project and we have already added that as you can see okay let me just make it proper first we have core auth and then the cloud fire store and then the next one that we will need is basically the storage so let's come here and search for it which is basically the firebase storage firebase storage click installing let's copy this and come back to the project and let's add that so now we can use firebase authentication firestore database and the cloud storage in our flutter project 
now you have to just click on pubget in order to install these dependencies so that we can use it okay so it has been added successfully now the next thing is on the main dot dot basically we have to initialize the firebase so all you need to do is you have to make the main method asynchronous okay and then uh, after that we have to basically initialize the firebase like this that is a wet firebase dot initialize app okay just like we did here of course if you if you have different project then you have to just type like this wet firebase dot initialize app okay but according to my project as we are developed like our project okay if you are developing this tiktok clone app then for our project we are using the getx stat management for our tiktok clone app development so that's why we are managing the auth controller using this that's why we said or then value and get dot put authentication controller so of course if you are developing this tiktok clone app then we have to go for it okay otherwise if you just want to implement the firebase setup if you want if you are learning this then of course you can just write here a semicolon okay and that is it for you and then you can test the application but of course according to our project needs according to the tiktok clone app development we have we are using getx so that's why we have to check this that is get dot put authentication controller so anyways now we are ready to test our app so let's just install the app on the phone so the app is running now and it runs successfully so it simply means that it is working fine so now in the next video what we will be doing is we will connect our this flutter application to the firebase for the ios